Okay, good day everybody. This is B already and Dawn and we are back with another Fay Banner reaction. Uh, if I seem tired, it's because I just rewoke up after going back to sleep, after waking up, after going back to sleep, after waking up, after going back to sleep. Um, so I'm still a little bit groggy. I literally woke up and looked at my phone. I'm like, oh, the banner dropped like a minute ago. Well, damn. <laughs> so... <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, uh, let's uh, dig into it. And let's see what's going on. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's see what we got. We got Veronica first. Hello, Veronica. I was once so closed off, alone, that being this open with others is a challenge. Is that a red calf tone? Okay, hang on. Please, for the love of God, tell me that's inheritable. Okay, hang on. I need to check my little symbol thingies. Because my ass is colorblind. I can't tell if she's green or red. I think red is diamond, though. I swear to God, if that's the cut, the tome uh, version of Vital Astro, I'm gonna lose my shit because I'm gonna need multiple copies of Veronica. She's a legendary hero, though, so she's gotta be a uh, she's gotta have a preferred skill. Okay, yeah, she's red tome. Cav. Okay. Oh, hang on. Panic Smoke 4. Okay, so I don't think Enclosure is... Oh, yeah, Enclosure. Never mind. I'm dumb. That's definitely not inheritable. Okay. Uh, closing Dark. It's, it's got... See, this is why I, I'm, I, I mentioned I just woke up, because my ass is not fully conscious. Okay. Uh, it's got Slang. If you initiate combat, is not adjacent to an ally, so it's solo or... Initiating. Attack speed plus 16 during combat. Half partial null follow up. Will occur be common based on number of foes within two spaces of target. If equals one. Inflict speed raise minus four on foe. If equals two. Speed raise minus eight on foe. If foe counterattack. If unit initiates combat, unit can make a follow up attack before foe can counterattack. Huh? Wait. So. If there's greater than two enemies, inflict speed res minus eight on foe, and foe cannot counterattack. If unit initiates combat, you can make unit can make a follow-up attack before foe can counterattack. So if they're in, if they're if there's less than two if there's less than if there's one foe within two spaces of another of the target, then they get speed res minus four, and she gets to make a follow-up attack before they can counterattack. Otherwise, they just don't don't, don't get to counterattack. Okay. Boost special damage by 25% of units attack. Special triggers neutralize reduced by X percent effects from non-special skills. Neutralize effects that inflict special cooldown charge minus X on unit during combat. Okay, so she's got like a temp, half tempo built in to enclosure. Plus 25% of units attack. Plus it's a two cooldown special. Plus... It re negates um, damage reduction. So that's pretty good. Attack speed, catch four. We already know what that does. Speed res, trip far trace. We already know what that does. Panic smoke four. Holy shit. New panic skill. Let's go. After combat, inflicts spectrum minus three and panic on target and foes within two spaces of target through the next actions and grants foe penalty doubler. To unit and allies in cardinal directions. Oh, so you get to steal their debuffs as extra stats. Fuck me, that's a good panic smoke. Holy shit! This thing got the royal treatment. So Spectrum minus three and panic and grants full penalty doubler enemies. 
penalties are fo- are are added on as combat stats. Fuck, that's phenomenal, dude. Panic Smoke Four. Holy shit, that's that that's so good, dude. That that's just so damn good. I'm actually curious. I gotta check something. Damn. Okay. Okay, let's go. Ooh. That is a nice attacking animation, but it looks like four blades. Like in the GBA games. Yeah, big whoop. I don't think anyone cares about pair up. Enough of you. So basically, she nukes in Gigantos. Nice. Embla! Mortals once loved me. She is a red beast flyer! No egress. Closing claw beast agility. Ooh, hello. Oh yeah, she's a mythic, right? Yeah, she's a dark mythic. Oh, that'll be interesting. Okay, so she's got Enclosing Claw, it's got Slang, it's got Spectrum plus five, inflicts penalty on attacks, foes attacks, speed, defense. During combat equals number of foes within three columns, three rows centered on unit times three, max nine. Neutralizes effects that inflict special penalty on charge months X and all on unit and also the number of foes within three columns of three rows centered on unit is greater than or equal to two. Neutralize effects and guarantee foes follow up attacks and inflict special cooldown charge minus one. Oh, holy fuck! This is a this is a stacked kit. A start of turn if you notice the nature transforms. Okay, so slaying spectral plus five and a penalty on foes attack speed defense during combat equals number of foes. Within three rows, three columns. Neutralize effects that in, so anti guard on unit, and also if the number of foes within three. Uh, neutralize effects so partial null follow up, guard effect. So she's got spectrum plus five slaying. She's got inflicting penalties. She's got half of tempo. The better half of tempo. Half of no follow up. She's got guard. So that's already six things in her weapon we just started. Shit. Okay. So, here we go. Attack speed clash, don't care. Beast agility. Removes the condition to transform? Holy shit! Oh my god, the skill is so good. Okay, removes the condition to transform. If unit speed is greater than foe speed, neutralizes effects that prevent units follow-up attacks during combat. So if you're a fast beast, you no longer have to worry about the transform condition. They could just transform for free. And it's inheritable. Holy shit. Okay, so... I'm guessing this is not inherent. No, this is just beasts straight up. Okay, let me let me see. Beasts are getting a little bit of love now. Let me see what they what I have access to. So that means Caden is, would always be transformed. Valuria, this skill would be crazy on Valuria, because it's got half and no follow up anyway. Um, honestly, I don't have a whole lot of speedy beasts. Nyla could get this now, if she wanted to. Asker could get this, although why would you? Ash could, but like Tabarn could, Vika could. 
So, like, there's only a handful of fast, speedy beasts that this would be really good for. This is definitely a Valuria skill, though. Holy shit, is this a Valuria skill. And honestly, Nasala could run this, too, if he wanted. Which would be kind of funny. Oh, yeah. Um, a start turn inflicts, so this is for Severance, undefended and feud. On foes within three columns, three rows centered on unit. A start turn if a foe is within three columns, three rows centered on unit. No shows any penalty, including penalties inflicted for start of turn. And grants dodge to unit. Holy shit. So she gets dodge? Okay, so. Inflicts undefended and feud. Undefended. Undefended. Unit cannot be protected by savior? Holy shit. This is anti-save skill. Holy fuck. Fuck! This is god tier! And feud. Disables all ally skills. Wow, she is changing the meta. This is saying, hey, screw save skills. Screw save skills. Screw freaking Elamine. You can't use them. They are now useless. Holy shit, this is good. It's a 1v1, and you don't get a save skill. So this is a true 1v1. Fuck, that's crazy. Unflex, undefended, and feud. A start turn of foes within three columns or three rows centered on unit. Neutralize any penalty. Exclude penalties. Inflict the start turn and grants dodge. So she can't even get penalty. So she's anti-penalty. So if you wanted a bonus double her, you just could. Neutralize any penalty. Oh, excluding penalties, inflict this our turn. And grants dodge. So she becomes a speed demon with damage reduction. Holy shit is she good. I'm I'm excited about the undefended because that's gonna be a that's gonna be in a skill. It's probably gonna be in an inheritable skill. Or duo skill at some point. Mark my words. That's gonna be the next duo skill that's broken is undefended. <laughs> Okay, let me see. I need to make a note of who I was on this banner. Red. Vero. Embla. Blue. Green. Colorless. Suffer as I have. Okay. Bramiond. He's okay. Hell. He's okay. Saros. Who's okay. So far this banner is not impressing me. Dogger. Who is okay. Oh wait, no, she's not even attack speed menace. Mikaya! Oh my god. They're just after my orbs. Sita. I don't think anyone really cares about Sita. Sita's not that great. She's got the distant storm, that's it. That's the only good thing she has. Nana is the last red. So red is freaking stacked to hell and back, dude. Ymir is green. Okay. Ascended Celica. It's kind of whatever. And Legendary Deirdre. Holy shit. This banner's kind of stacked. Kind of. It's not great, but it's not bad. Okay, so, um, this banner is kind of crazy, actually. I'm just going to freeze it here. So red, we got Veronica, Embla, Nana. Red is 
fucking god here. That you cannot ask for a better red pool right now. Blue is Sarah Sita Deirdre. Deirdre is kind of hard carrying. Sita at least has distant storm and what the hell does Saros have? I know she doesn't really have much. Let me see. Okay, let me see. So, Saros has Mirror Impact, Dragon Wall. Yeah, that's not fantastic. That's kind of bad, actually. Green is Hell, Dogger, Ymir. I don't think Dogger has anything. Hell has, like, whoop de doo She's got Guard Bearing DC. And Ymir is the only one that might actually have something. I can't remember what Ymir has. Uh, give me one second here. She's got a Rally Plus, she's got a Unity, she's got a Near Trace. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's a niche Near Trace, but it's not bad. And then Bremon, Mickey, Ascendant Celica. Ascendant Celica, I'm pretty sure, has like life and death, and like that's about it. Let me double check. No, I don't want Legendary. Fuck off, I clicked it. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure she just has that. Nullus Testament, Life and Death, and Infantry Null follow up, which is like whatever. So, like, at least she has something. Uh, Mickey has Fury and she has Joint Distant Guard, whatever it is, and Bremimon has literally nothing. So, honestly, this is not a bad banner at all. Um,. Clearly the winner is red. Um, Deirdre being on blue kind of makes blue second place, in my opinion. So I'd say, like, red, blue, colorless green. Because Celica has some fodder, and Mickey's a good unit. Meanwhile, blue, Deirdre's a good unit. Seed is a good fodder, but, like, Deirdre would kill Mickey. So blue beats colorless, and then green's last. Overall, not a bad banner. Overall, you know me, I'm probably going to be summoning for it because that beast uh, transformation thing is absolutely crazy. You no longer need to worry about beast positioning to transform, which is freaking nuts, by the way. So yeah, let me know down in the comment section below if you guys are planning on summoning. And if you are, who do you want to go for? And if you're not, why are you not summoning? Are you waiting to see the Double Special Heroes banner? Not Double Special Heroes. Frick, I'm tired. The next uh, seasonal banner. The Christmas banner. Are you guys waiting to see who's on that for uh, summoning on this? Or what is your plan? Let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, this is B-Reader on signing off. Bye, yo. See you, everybody.